Hey folks, welcome back to the lab. We have our next project here. This is a Rayo Pony number number 21, I'm pretty sure. And it's, uh, well, I don't know what to think about it. First of all, it had a, a Jupiter globe in it. And it's got a chimney tube and crown from Medit's Wizard. And it looks to have a half a gallon of JB Weldit on the bottom. And all these uh, bad notes um, I completely missed when I bought it. Was that a... You know, I, it's ignorance. My ignorance, uh, when I bought it, it had just started to pour. The guy was putting everything away. I'm like, hey, what about this? What about this? I'll give you so-and-so and so-and-so. Sure. Well, I got them home and they're both garbage. Well, I, this isn't... I don't know. So we're going to look at it. We're going to tear it apart. We're going to clean her up. I decided that I'm just going to see what I can do with it. I mean, it's just so I can learn, you know, and I end up getting one that is, um, you know, a, a serious collector's item that needs a good proper cleaning. I will know. What's, well, I'm not going to know about how to, anyway. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll dig into this, get it apart, and then I'll strip the paint off, and then we'll take it from there. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. This is, yeah, so I got to take it for a ride. I didn't pay a whole, t you know, I didn't pay a whole ton of money for this thing, but it still bugs me that I didn't look close enough. Um, let's start by getting this funky thing out of there. Let's get rid of this stuff. Okay, that's up. Ah, I could see. I know what happened there because it happened to me trying to get this globe out. Was that the the edge of the uh, chimney tube there was banging on this part right here, and it looks like this had been bent a couple times and bent back. So, okay, well this and this. Go in the parts box. Okay. Okay. And of course, I put a little dent in it. Yeah, I just did that. I just freaking did that. Man. Will I ever learn? I got to make sure I fix this up a little bit before I continue and make me feel better about it. Okay. Good. I will never learn. So, there's a bale. That's interesting. Some kind of modification happened there. It looks like you see this painted over solder here. And you can see these marks here. So, there was probably either a back clip or side clip and I can see here there's solder as well painted over so this had one of them side mount clips to clip onto your wagon yep so that's long gone Okay, that's in fine shape. That'll clean up just fine. Just fine, just fine. Okay. Got a new headlamp, folks, by the way. 
reason why that doesn't make all these lines on the screen. And I see that's a little, that's on there pretty good. Hit this a little bit, let it sit while we look at other stuff. Such a nice big filler cap on that. When you look at a monstrous um, lantern, little tiny one, look at that. other parts to this thing we got them all <clears throat> I just want to make sure that we get we respect this hinge here because it is soldered in and I don't want to make that go further than it needs to and I did see somebody removing one of these in a video, and I, you can, I don't know if you can tell, but there's four little in, four little indentations there that are holding it in. And I saw him pounding that out with like a screwdriver and a hammer. I'm not going to attempt that. I'll work around it. That's fine. If it falls out, then then I'll worry about it. But the lens is in good shape. I, I don't want to break it. And it looks like a nice tin under there. Well, this could be a could be interesting except for when I get to the bottom maybe I'll just redo the bottom welding to look better because I can certainly do a better job than that although that could be solder I won't know until I get the paint off and how many layers of paint are on here I don't know this could just be latex house paint just slapped on here I mean it feels heavy here Probably because they wanted to hide all this crap. That's why there's more layers. Okay. To the sink. Let me see. Those brass? Yeah, they are brass. To the sink, yes. Okay, we got stripper. We got a brush. And we got a lantern. And we're going to do science. See what happens. Don't know if you can see it, but underneath that black paint is some metallic silver. It is just coming out all over the place. Yeah, this looks like model trains kind of paint that's on there. Somebody else tried to hide it. Oh, see, you can start seeing the letters under there. All right, well, let's just do its job. Oh, jeez. Look at that. Wow. How many more layers are under that? We just don't know yet. All right. Here's what we got. There is a lot going on here. Or nothing. I don't know. Um, we have layers. So, we had a black layer. Obviously, horrible black layer. Uh, I think applied to so they could hide all this stuff here. And I may be, you know, if, who knows how far I get with this thing, but I may want to smooth that out so it looks less gross. <laughs> um, so underneath the black paint was a metallic silver. I immediately thought of model planes and model cars as a kid because, you know, I was youngest of four boys and we all had model trains and cars and all that stuff and so here's what we got we got and underneath that metallic silver is remaining tin that's too bad that that's all gone there are spots of it and that's neat that's neat man that's that's patina that's cool i can't tell if this is just solder now, we'll see when we dig it into it to our, with our various tools. That's I'm going to go to the wheel. And you've seen plenty of the wheel if you watch any of my videos. So, um, oh, yeah. 
Ooh. I'm not gonna put that on a wheel. I'll, I'll find a less aggressive way to clean that up. We wanna make that look nice. And the cap, that nice, big, beautiful cap. Okay. Okay, before going to the wheel, I was gonna bring this over to the wheel with me, but I see this is all coated in layers of these paints. I could see the silver and, I could, and the black. I thought that was carbon, but that's black paint. So before I go to the wheel, I'm gonna run to the kitchen, throw some uh, stripper on that, let that sit while I go to the wheel. Okay. All right, we got our components. Um, so the globe guard, uh, yeah, it was coated in black paint and the metallic silver. <laughs> Just everywhere. And there's some tin underneath all that too. And we'll get this cleaned up. Obviously, I couldn't get the big wheel into here, into here, but that's okay. We'll get it. And let's clean up a little bit. right there. Uh, sit back a little bit because if this thing falls off I don't want it falling in my lap. There. Okay, we're off. There. Love this setup, by the way. It's easy. And I have two of these hanging right by my legs held on by a seat clamp on the edge of my work thing here <laughs> Just found some uh, patent codes. I think April 10th. No, I need more light. What do you mean? I don't need more light. I need more magnification. Hey. No, 
there's no year. So the years are chopped off. June 10th of zero something. January 9th of zero something. April 10th of something. And January 13th something. Well, maybe, maybe a little more Dremel. I can find that, but I don't think so. Hmm. straight to a polish on this. Let me try some very super fine steel wool here. But I want to put a polish on this. All right. Good. Let me clean this all up. I did a little bit of steel wool on this with this uh, coarse steel wool. And I'll go over it with the finer. Clean up all this. I need to come up with a name for the steel wool dirt. Steel dirt. We are still dragging. Steel dirt. There, I'll be a name for you. All right, we got a polish and wheel. We got our brown polish. We got brown. Let's try this out. Small polishing wheel. All right, let's see how we did here. Can't get in that corner with that little wheel. All right, we're back. Look at that. Beautiful. That'll look great in this completely incomplete lantern. So let's uh, let's do our fun part here. And Next we got linseed oil. And as I've said before, I get in the corners with a brush first. And I could just wipe everything on with a rag. I just want to make sure I get in all the corners. I hate seeing a dull spot in the corner. So doing the corners. Thank you. 
I mean, it's, it's like painting myself into a corner, but you know, I, I use that brush to get in the corners to put the oil on. And I can't get my fat fingers in there to get it off. So I'm using this uh, retired knitting needle kind of deal get in the corners. All right, so next step is assembly. Okay, good, I got it right. Okay. Let's try something here. Where is it? Okay, that looks secure and looks like It'll be nice and level when the uh, chimney spring holds it down. Oink. Love that. Oink. Holds on to it just fine. So, what I was thinking about off camera there was... This is a piece of junk made in China, and I'd be fine with ripping out that chimney and trying it in here. And if it works, like oh, that looks awful, uh, but they would make it work. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I would take the paint off it. We just might do that before we're done with this. But I want to see what it looks like with all its, all its parts. The sum of all its parts. So let's try this. Come on. It's slippery from the polish. Right. So... <laughs> Oh yeah, got the bail yet? This little hunk of wire was on the uh, bail here. I thought it was kind of neat, so I left it. Like a little tattoo. Oh, yeah, this one. That one had the more of a hook on it. This one a little bit less. There. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's do crazy things here. There was everything wrong with that uh, uh, see if I can do this without. Hurt myself. I think it's coming out. Oh, look at that. Ah, it's amazing how well that went for me. <laughs> That's, let's be crazy here. Try this out. Hmm. Well, not 
too crazy an idea if we can get that spring to stay in there. If we can get that spring up underneath that rim. What would hold it on is the cap. This ain't so crazy. I want to go take paint off this stuff. I don't think it'll take long at all with this, this paint. Let's see what happens here. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Look at that. Let's make that work. I'm going to go strip the paint off this stuff. It's getting super light, and I don't care. Now I got kind of I'm rejuvenated. All right. Let's, let's do that. I'm going to go strip the paint off this stuff. Shouldn't take long. All right, look at that. <clears throat> so I want to, well, that doesn't look that bad like that. I like that it's all kind of chewed up, much like this. Good. So gonna do some coarse steel wool try to give this a a weathered look and get the rest of this paint off of here it's a good temporary fix all right so look at that I like how that's all right I'm liking that Be amazed if this works. Well, you don't know until you try. All right. Right. <laughs> this, is, this is interesting. This is interesting. All right, maybe I want the globe to be what I do with it. I lost the globe. I lost the globe. Where's the globe? No, seriously. What do I do with it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I brought it to the kitchen to clean it. Oh, boy. I'm all right. I'll be okay. It's late. All right. So... I think what we need to do is put the chimney in and put the globe in. I think the globe is going to hold that up so I can put the cap on. I think the cap's going to be holding that on there. Yeah, look how that kind of looks like it belongs there. Sort of. Cool. Let's, let's do it. So I'm holding that. Yoink. Oh, God, this is going to work. This is going to freaking work. And if I test this tank on this thing and it holds fluid, I'm going to freak out because this that's great. Freak out because it's good.
Let's see, did those tabs go in? Yes, these tabs went in. Okay. Not like trusty chopstick. These are gonna hold that very securely. Don't have to worry about this, any of these tab breaking or anything. Can you believe it? It works. Oops. Wow. That's great. That makes for that. Oh, look. Super Baby ran out of fluid. I've been in here a long time working on this. Okay. Wow. That's exciting. Now let's put a put a wick in this sucker. Right. Well, <clears throat> I went for a size a little smaller, and it's feeding just fine. But these, well. It was, boy, oh boy, why is it doing that? Can't get it to back up. Well, up, up works fine. I can't see in there to... See why. And it looks like somebody else has been having issues with it too. They've been trying to jam that open there. They probably had stuck wicks in there. I wonder what's going on. Trying to widen the hole a little bit. Pretty darn close. I mean, these teeth are touching the opposite side. No, they're not touching. But yeah, I can see that somebody's been digging in here and they've probably been having the same issue. All right. Don't know if that did anything or not. All right, it worked. So what happened was the teeth, the teeth in the little hole in here were touching, the teeth are on this side, as you can see. They're on this side of the hole. So this is where the teeth are around this bayonet. And there's gears in there and the, the gears were touching the other side of the wall so they it couldn't let anything pass through because otherwise we'd have to dig well oh, it's I don't know how to explain it but now it's working. Okay. Okay. Yeah that's a little more polish on that. Got a wick in there. Just wash the gold, but I got it all dirty. Oh, 
I think we're done with this. Thanks to that. I figured this was two bucks. Got this two bucks at a sale. I wonder if we could have used this. Oh, could have used that wick. Oh, nice wick. Get that out of there. Put that in the wick pile. And this can go in the parts box. Okay, let's take a look here. I don't need my headset on anymore. Look at this. That's a little out of place, uh, but not not horribly. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. That there it looks like it belongs there, doesn't it? Pony number 21. Well, I'm happy with this. Considering considering that I, I felt like I was taken for a ride. A little smoke and mirrors when I bought this thing. Um, didn't pay a ton for it or anything, but uh, I thought it was just a total disaster. With all the extra weird parts and things. And, uh, as you saw the way it looked when we started. Look at that. Excellent. So, folks, this was an adventure. And, uh, use of the junk pile. Great. Well, it wasn't junk. It was technically a usable, uh, lantern, but not for me. It's usable for parts. And that should be enough, I would think. It should be enough for exhaust there. Yeah. All right, folks. Hey, this was great. It's a good time. It's late. And of course, as always, don't you go change.